Hey guys, how's it going? So I am outside in the beautiful nature today, giving you guys a little bit of something better to look at. So I really wanted to chat today about a fair bit of the fighting that I've been noticing in the vegan community lately and the bullying and just want to chat with you guys about actually how that's really not benefiting the animals at all. Um, I wasn't really going to make this video for a really long time. I didn't think that I was going to need to. I had noticed some of these kind of issues in the past, but I kind of thought that we were over it. And I think that with so many different people coming into the movement and different people who are vegans and who are plant-based eaters and who are activists, and there's such a variety of titles that you can label yourself. And so many people believe you just need to focus on being an activist. Like there are beneficial things to having other people come into this movement right now. We're too small right now to start fighting as much as we're fighting. So anything that we can do for the animals, we have to focus on. What you think about, you bring about. And I think everybody needs to understand the law of attraction and manifestation. And when you do focus on all these negative things that are happening, more of those things are gonna end up happening. And so right now with our movement and our community being as small as it is, we really, really need to focus on lifting each other up and bringing each other up. Stop the bullying, stop name calling each other, stop the drama behind the scenes. It doesn't need to happen. It's not beneficial for the animals. It's not beneficial for anybody around you. It's bringing more negativity. It's lowering your vibrations. And that's not what we need right now. So people really just need to understand how it's destroying a lot that's going on. Like I remember being told a while back that Martin Luther King spent over 80% of his time fighting within the movement. That is a lot of wasted time. 80% of your time spent within the movement? No, we need to be fighting the bigger causes right now. We need to be all protesting, doing outreaches, informing the public, making good meals, telling people about veganism, like about animal activism, about what's going on. Focus on the victories also. Like don't just talk about the negative stuff. We've had a lot of victories come up in the past little while and people need to focus on those. Um, also, yeah, talk about what's happening in the industry and how cruel it is, but you need to also bring about some light to it. Like what you think about, you bring about. So the more you think about the positive stuff, the more positive stuff is gonna happen. We can't just be attacking people. We have to, we have to inform people, find out about what's going on in their lives. Like find out what interests them and what they are really passionate about. And then bring it in. And it's not a manipulative thing. It's we're trying to inform people about what's happening. This is a social justice issue. It needs to change. We have to realize that we're all living beings. We all matter. And that's the whole point of this movement. So I think that when people get, like, when you get really angry and frustrated about what's happening, don't be attacking the public. Let them know. Educate them. And also, you guys realize that within our movement, like, the whole message of our movement, movement is that we all matter. Like, to love and respect all living beings, we all matter. So stop fighting within the movement, stop bullying, stop name calling each other, stop attacking each other. When people have done really beneficial things for the animals and they've actually gone out of their way to fight for the animals, stop attacking these people. They are doing what they can do for the animals. And by attacking them and putting them down, you are really, really affecting a lot that's going on. And I've seen this with a couple different situations recently. There's been a few actually. And um, some of them I'm blown away by. The amount of bullying that these people had to encounter on their return and just the anger and the frustration that a lot of people held. People are trying to change. People are trying to make themselves better people and that's the whole point of this. So if you notice that somebody's going through somebody, how about we don't attack that person, but instead, we show that person more love. We show that person appreciation and we show that person the right path. So if they've kind of slipped something up and they're doing something that's maybe not appropriate, don't bully them. What is that gonna do? That's not gonna benefit anybody. You have to explain yourself. Tell them if you've got hurt feelings, tell them if you thought something was inappropriate. Bring it up as a conversation because people need to be shown love and respect and get away from the anger. You want to raise your vibrations. I talk about this all the time because I love it. But start meditating. Connect with people around you. Just be more connected to the universe as a whole. And you're going to be kinder to everybody. You're going to notice the benefits of manifesting and of 
being positive to everybody around you and that's what we need so I just want everybody to stop with the bullying everybody needs to stop being negative and judging people and being gossipy and spreading rumors and tapping into other people's business it's none of your business focus on the main point of this movement right now and that's us fighting for the animals that's for us getting everybody the point of seeing that all life matters so bullying is never okay it's not okay in the schoolyard it's not okay as adults it's not okay to bully people so people really need to get over this we are all adults now most of us <laughs> and if you're not and you're younger and you're an activist fantastic but still tap into yourself because it's important and it's really beneficial for the animals when you can connect yourself as a whole and stop focusing on all the negative and stop bullying people it's not okay you guys so yeah pretty much I want you guys to just start loving and respecting all life and yourselves and the people around you and remember to live loud and love louder because that's how it should be so I'm going to go I hope you guys liked this video. I'm going to be posting more on veganism and activism and a bunch of stuff, um, tips, pointers. So hopefully you guys like this and you subscribe and I will chat with you guys later. You all rock. Thanks. Bye.